Thank you for taking time to look at this brief demo of Cabinet Safe for Financial Advisors. We're going to cover three critical areas to go on paperless for a financial advisor. Number one, how do you get your documents into the system? Two, once they're in the system, how do you search for and retrieve those documents? And three, we're going to talk a little bit about workflow. Before we get started, I want to talk about the structure of the Cabinet Safe system. Our system is a very uh, structured and organized so that you've got control over your documents. You'll see on this sample screen we have a repository for the financial advisor. You can have as many repositories as you like. Within repository you have cabinets. Again, you can have as many cabinets as you like. I'm in the client's cabinet for Allen and you can see that within that cabinet I have folders. These uh, represent one folder per client. I can search for a folder by just typing a few letters down here and doing a folder search. So if you have hundreds of folders in a cabinet or even thousands, it's easy to get to the folder you need. Simply click on open and you're looking at the documents within that folder along with tabs that you can define and configure. Uh, we have built into the system a preview on the right side that you can see and as you scroll through and look at different documents in the system, you can see that you can preview those documents instantly without having to open them. So that's just a quick rundown of the structure and how you get around within the system. Let's talk a little bit about how you get documents into the system. There are a number of ways. The first thing that you might think of is actually scanning. Uh, and you're going to always have the need to just, you've got a single document and you need to scan that document into SAFE. How do you do that? Uh, it's very easy. You just go into the folder you want to file to. Let's go back out and pick another folder to file a document to. Open that folder, pick a tab, and then just click on the scan button. And here's the important part of our system. We provide you and help you set up your own templates to apply naming conventions so that your documents are always named the way you want them to be named. So the user simply clicks what document they're scanning in, and you can see that the title is automatically applied to that document. So it saves keystrokes and it makes it consistent when multiple people are filing documents to the system. Then you would just click OK and scan the document in. That's if you're scanning one document into a folder. We also have a built-in batch program that lets you put a stack of documents into the scanner, scan them all in at once, and then you can see thumbnails on the left, a preview screen on the right, and you would simply tell the system here what folder do I want to file to. In this case this document is for John Doe so I type D-O and you can see there he is John A. Doe. I can pick his folder and then I can pick the template. This is a beneficiary change request. There's my template and I can file this document. So we help you set up the structure with your templates so that everything goes into the system the way you want it to go in whether you're scanning a single document or using our batch scanning module. Also, you can notice from the batch module, you can also import, use the open button, and import files into batch and file them that way. So that's a couple of ways to get scanned documents in. You also have the ability directly within a folder to import a document. Simply click on Tools and Import, and then you can navigate to a file location where you want to pull in documents that you may already have scanned or that you've received electronically. Another type of document that you're going to create are those new do or that you want to file rather are those new documents that you create yourself in house. And to do that, you simply again pick a tab and instead of scan, I click on the new button. And again, you'll see your templates. This time I'm looking at electronic document templates that I can use to create my documents. And these are not scanned, but my own electronic files that I already have that I use internally. So if I want to pick a document I click OK. That happened to be a PDF document. It's a PDF form. It opens it up and when I close it it's automatically filed and saved in that location. And You can see this is an account opening checklist and it's an Ellie Mace folder. It gave it that name automatically because I picked that template. So that's creating new documents. We'll come back to this, doc this document a little bit later. Uh, one other way you can get documents in is you can be within an application, say Word or Adobe, and you can print to SAFE and print that document electronically directly into the proper folder and use a naming template of your choosing. So let's switch gears and talk a little bit about search and retrieve. Uh, the primary way you're going to search for documents is you're going to pick a cabinet, you're going to pick a folder, you're going to open that folder, 
pick a tab and go to the document that you're looking for. But you also have some global search capabilities. You can see I've got the word golf typed in up here and I'm going to do a search for all documents in my whole system that have the word golf in the title. So you can see it went across. I have 156 cabinets and it gave me a complete list of every document that has golf in the title. And then I can narrow that search down by putting in additional fields. We also have the ability to search on full text. So not just the title of the document, but the text within the document. If I do the same search using golf, you see now I get a different set of results that have the word golf within the document. So that's a, another way to search for documents. Primarily, you're going to use the structural, but you always have the document title and keyword search as well as the full text search available. The last thing I want to talk a little bit about is workflow. I'm going to open Ellie Mae's folder. I'm going to go back to that miscellaneous tab to that document that we created. And if I right click, I can route that document to any user on the system. I'm going to route it to myself and put in a note so I know what to do with it and click send. You can see there's an icon that shows that document has been routed in workflow. If I right click and trace, I can see who has it, what time and date it was sent to them, and I can see that it's new. That user will get an email notification as well as a pop-up within our system showing them that they have a new document. It's right here and when I click on it I can see that document. At this point I've got the ability if I have edit rights I can edit this document. If I click the edit button it's just going to open it up. I could even if I wanted to I can place a signature if I have an application that will allow me to sign a document. I've got a signature pad. I can sign that document. Accept it. and when I close it it's saved with the signature. At this point I can file it back to safe or route it on to another user. If I go ahead and just file it to safe I can go back in and look at that document. Now if I trace it I'll have a record of who did what with it, uh, what time and date. So that covers um, how you get documents in, how you search and retrieve documents, and a real brief overview of our workflow. Obviously there are a lot more capabilities uh, and you have unique requirements that you desire in a paperless system, please get in touch with us and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.